John Reed, Hack for Western Mass Shoot 3. I've got another nonprofit developer combo. This time, Glenn's the nonprofit and Dan's the developer. Uh, Glenn, uh, why'd you come? Man? What, what brought you down here? So, well, I'm the regional health agent at the Franklin Regional Council of Governments in Greenfield. I work for uh, numerous small towns in Western Mass. And one of the things that is a critical issue in Massachusetts is that we have no overarching program for keeping track of private wells, the locations, the water quality, and that's really critical for protecting public health. So we're trying to develop some kind of an application, computer-based database, to keep track of private wells and the water quality associated with them, and hopefully use that for planning purposes and uh, protection of drinking water supplies for houses and small communities. Dan, the stereotype of the developer is like the getrichquick.com kind of person, but but yet you're here on the weekend trying to help. Like, what what, what motivates you to be involved in stuff like this? Well, I, I think what you'll find, you know, as, as far as software developers go, is that many of them are really passionate about what they do, and they really just enjoy, you know, developing and coding. And you know, sometimes they'll you know work all day at their jobs, and they'll come home and they they'll do more coding just because you know they enjoy it so much. Right. Um, so I think it's really good to be able to funnel that passion for development, you know, into something that really benefits the community. Um, so it's it's really a matter of not only professional development but, but helping people out. And can you really get something done on a weekend? Well, you can you can get something done. I mean, there's so many tools out there now that that allow you to develop things quickly, and that's yeah. one of the challenges that we've had actually is we we have so many different directions kind of to choose from, so many yeah. different perspectives options. Um, so we can we can get a lot done quickly nowadays with the technology that we have and then it'll be a matter of kind of refining things. So walk us through like what happened the last like day and a half. So initially we started out and um, we were kind of framing this as a long-term development project which was I guess an initial mistake. We were thinking you know we're gonna have all these cool features, we're gonna include you know this information and this information um, and that took most of the day yesterday. But at, through the course of today, you know, we've been we've been kind of restructuring our focus, and we've been saying, you know, how can we how can we get something done today that that fills you know the majority of the need for this application? And so it's been a matter of, you know, it's it's been a it's been definitely a, a, a change in the scope of the project and a change in the way that we're tackling the project um, from something very large scale to something more targeted, and more appropriate uh, given the time that we have. Mm -hmm. And how, how did it go for you? What, what was your role in all this? Were you interacting frequently and sharing what we stereotypically call user requirements, or what was yes. going on with Yes, yeah, yeah. I was, I was trying to answer as many questions as I could, but um, most of the discussion was way over my head, I have to say. Uh, you know, I don't really know the computer languages and things like that, but right. overall, I tried to give some guidance to the output of what I, what I would be useful for myself and hopefully the, the towns that I deal with. Now, I've attended some code jams where there was some really neat stuff, but it kind of sort of died on the vine after the event. Are, are you fired up to take this forward? Like, what, how is that going to work? Yeah, no, this is a project, actually, that I've been working on for years. Um, I've been working on this for four years. Um, uh, I have developed my own smartphone app that allows me to go out in the field and collect data. But what I want to be able to do is collate all of that information and keep it in a central database and then be able to visualize that information on maps so that we know the locations of wells and then associate with each one of those wells the water quality information for that based on you know both the time and the area and aerial representation of water quality. You know, really critical information, it's amazing that we don't have that for Massachusetts, but it just has not never been a priority because private wells are kind of considered private and it's up to the individuals to, you know, to keep that information, but it's not accessible. So you're going to be working with developers in the future as well, you can tell. Yes, yes, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm definitely going to follow through on yeah. this and my goal, my ultimate goal, and hopefully the result of this weekend is to get a, a, a program or an application that will be functional enough to then present to the state and ask the State Department of Environmental Protection to 
adopt this state law. That's, that's my goal. Yeah, I'm going to give you the last word. What would you say to someone who thought about coming but kind of had a weak excuse this time around or felt like sleeping in or whatever? What, what would be your, your word to those folks that missed out this time? Um, you know, I, I'd say that they, they definitely missed a really great experience to not only, you know, network with people, um, but also to, to gain experience in uh, different technologies because you know, sometimes developers can get set in their ways, you know, I want to work with this tool, I want to work with that tool. But really coming here and collaborating with a group of other people, it's, you really get a sense for the, the broader world and um, I think that's, that's really great to, to not only network but to gain that experience in things that you wouldn't normally have. Well, thanks, guys. Good luck on your presentation this afternoon. Thank okay. you.